Assalamualaikum and hi, welcome to lesson 3 of tutorial 7, Trigonometric Functions. So we are going to discuss question 8, find the exact value without using calculator. So question 8a, sine 75 degree, sine 15 degree. If you see in this form, we can use the factor formula. So what is the factor formula? We have 4 formulas and I am going to choose the formula. Cos A minus cos B equals to negative 2 sine A plus B per 2 sine A minus B per 2. So why do I choose this formula? Because we have sine and sine. And if you see, on the right side of this formula, we have sine and sine. And from product, we can change into sum. Product to sum. So I'm going to derive a new equation from here. And the new equation is sine P, sine Q, for example, equals to negative half in bracket cos p plus q minus cos p minus q so actually you can derive a new equation from the factor formula so i am going to use the new equation sine 75 sine 15 so let's say 75 is your p and 15 is your q so this is simple you can just substitute in the formula so you will have negative half in bracket cos 75 plus 15 minus cos 75 minus 15. Which then if you simplify, you would have cos 90 minus cos 60. And then use the calculator, final answer is negative 1 per 4. So that's the answer for question A. So for question B, I will leave that for your task. So next question is question 9. Solve the following trigonometric equation. For theta, greater or equal negative 180, less or equal to 180. Okay, question A. Sign theta equals to 1 per 5. So step 1, find basic angle. So basic angle is arc sine 1 per 5 is 11.54. Second step, determine the quadrant. So draw your quadrant. 11.54 in which quadrant? Let's check the value of sine. If you see, the value of sine here is positive. So positive sine is in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. We have 11.54 in quadrant 1, 11.54 in quadrant 2. And third step is the range. Range is given in the question greater equal negative 180 to 180. And four is your answer. So if you look at your quadrant, we have the first angle 11.54. So theta in the first quadrant is 11.54. And if you continue to the second quadrant, your angle here is 180 minus 11.54 and then for negative 180 degree is the angle in quadrant 3 and 4 which you don't have any angle in quadrant 3 and 4 so therefore your answer is 11.54 degree and 3 
and 168.46. Now let's look at question B. Cosecant theta equals 3. So first you need to change cosecant into 1 over sine theta. And then simplify sine theta equals 1 per set 3. So the next step is to find basic angle, which is arc sine 1 per set 3 is 35.26. And then the next step is determine the quadrant. So check the sine in sine theta. So sine positive is in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. So we have 35.26 in quadrant 1, 35.26 in quadrant 2. Third step is the range. So range of theta is from negative 180 to 180. So similar to question A, we only have the angle in quadrant 1 and 2. So, your answer is theta 35.26 and another angle is 180 minus 35.26. So, the two angles are 35.26 and 144.74. Now, let's look at question D. Cos. Theta minus 20 equals 0 0.8. So proceed with the first step, basic angle. Of course, 0 0.8 is 36.87. Second step, determine the quadrant. So we have positive cos. Positive cos is in first quadrant and you know the rule of add sugar to coffee. So we have 36.87 in quadrant 1 and 36.87 in quadrant 4. So the third step is range. So we know that the range of theta is from negative 180 to 180. But in this case, we need to find the range for theta minus 20. So the new range would be negative 180 minus 20 is negative 200 and then 180 minus 20 is 160. And 4 is the answer. So the answer for theta minus 20 degree is in the first quadrant 36.87 and then we have the angle in the fourth quadrant which is the negative angle so negative 36.87 but that is not your final answer because our final answer is the value of theta so for each angle you need to add 20 degree so 36.87 plus 20 is 56.87 and another angle negative 16.87 always check your theta with a the range and the range is negative 180 to 180 and both angles that you have here are in the range so both angles are correct so that's it I have discussed question 9A, B and D, so your task is to do C and F. So good luck.